It's your road book called Endgame. How close are we to the end game in Europe? If you're Greece, uh, months if not weeks. Yeah. I mean, it's a bank run. Bank runs are the end game. That's the moment, the, the crisis, and, and they're having bank runs. That's uh, depositors yes. taking their money yeah, out, I mean, giving up, basically yeah. giving up on the system. Yesterday was a, I was reading in somewhere this morning, a billion dollars out of Spain. The Spanish are looking. Well, that's ooh, out of uh, out of Bankia. Out of, uh, that yeah, was reported, yeah. right? Right. Uh, so, so the Spanish investors are looking. Ooh, look at Greece. Hmm, could that happen here? Nah. But just in case, we're going to take our money out. Yeah. And you know, we're going to take it. Let's say to Germany. Uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see what Deutsche Banks and Commerce Banks <laughs> deposit. So now, if, if Greece is weeks away, months away, what is what does the end mean? Are we talking about them leaving the well, euro? They have to leave uh, the euro. Defaulting, devaluing the currency. Yes. I mean, what are we what are well, we talking about? I mean, they can't stay in the euro and not meet the austerity requirements because mm -hmm. they're not going to get the money, uh, which puts them in an even worse situation if they stay. The, it goes back to what it was two years ago. They have disaster A, staying in the euro, or disaster B, getting out of the euro. Right. That's, that's their choices. I think the better choice for them, the logical choice, is going ahead and leaving. You will have a very deep depression, but it'll be quick. In Greece. In Greece. Right. Now, you, and, you were here in August, and we were talking about this also. Right. And at the time, uh, we discussed the issue of kicking the can down the road. Right. And we have, a, we have the we, we have We're a coming clip to the here. end of the road. We're coming, right, coming to the end of the road, and all the cans are there. Uh, let's play this first clip Ooh, of this could be your appearance in August. No, no, it's, it's fine. Don't oh, worry. Okay, good, we wouldn't good. embarrass you. I said something let's right. Let's play this one quick. Every time the Europeans spend another 100 billion euros to bail somebody out, we should all stand up and applaud because they're kicking the can down the road and keeping the crisis from coming to our borders. So obviously we're talking about, you know, the whole issue of kicking the can down the road. It was actually beneficial because it kept the crisis at bay. Right. That's kind of coming to an end though, isn't it? Well, I mean, the ECB did a trillion euros in their LTRO in, uh, the in December of and, and, right. and, and beginning of this year, and it bought them a month. A trillion euros doesn't buy what it used to. <laughs> it just doesn't <laughs> Is that go inflation? very. That's inflation. It just doesn't go very right. far anymore. Uh, they're going to have to print multiple trillions of euros to be able to stave off the crisis in Spain. Spain's rates are already up to the ten-year at six-three. A four-year, three-year bond was at four-four. That's that's not a sustainable debt. Right. That's not something that works in the arithmetic models. Not forget high math. This isn't an algorithm. Yeah. Uh, so the ECB is going to have to step in. They're going to have to, to uh, monetize Spanish debt, and they're going to have to buy it for three years to keep it down. This is not a Spain can't get to a primary surplus in one year or two years or three years without having the same crisis that Greece is. So it's got to be a slow, steady progression. Uh, they try to force Greece too fast. Right. Uh, now to get into sort of get towards the, the, the territory of the new book here, we all, back in August we also talked about what would be the effects on the United States if Europe you know, blows up. Uh, let's roll that one. When Europe has its crisis, I think that's enough to push us into recession. Uh. What am I saying? Uh, so back in August talking about when Europe having its crisis could push us into a recession. Okay. I think Europe is having its crisis. Do you think it can push the U.S. into a recession? If it's disorderly, yes. I mean, we're at stall speed on, on growth size. We're, we're not growing over 2% for the last year, right. you know, year over year. That's, that's stall speed. Uh, in fact, with that kind of a uh, growth record, we've never not gone back into recession. I, I don't think we have to. If Europe can control, I mean, and by control, I mean the European Central Bank printing and the Bundesbank basically threw the, you know, the towel in, threw, gave, waved the white flag, said, hey, we're yeah. going to have inflation, guys. And that basically gives, as long as the Bundestag, as their government goes along with it, it gives the ECB permission to, permission. to print now, quickly, we have to, everything to go. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. I want to talk about your new book. What should investors do to protect themselves at this point? Well, they should recognize we're still in a secular bear market. But the good news is it's only another three years. We're only a recession That's away. Hey, it started out when I was saying 17. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, so you know, we, we've come a long way, baby. Uh, 
and we're going to see the end of this whole debt super cycle, this whole debt crisis. We're going to see the end of the secular bear market. We're going to see the U.S. become energy independent. We're going to watch all sorts of new technologies come in all about the same time, the middle of this decade. And we'll have a 15 to 17 year all right. bull run. So, so we all get to be geniuses in just another couple, two or three okay, years. Okay, so we're one recession away, three years, yeah. about, roughly. We, we, we got to get through yeah, the debt roughly. cycle and, 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 and figure yeah. out how that's going to resolve. 